What's going on guys? I'm the Mom Mechanic and today uh, we are going to be running our oil feed and return lines to our turbo on this Honda Element here. So let's get into it. So the first step to removing the oil pan is going to be obviously draining all of the oil out of it so we don't make a huge mess. While the oil is draining, you can remove this um, front plate or this front little skid plate, um, plastic skid plate piece. Um, it goes from, it's got uh, clips here and there's clips that connect it to the front bumper, but I've removed that in light of the intercooler. Um, so, there's clips that run all along here that hold that gray piece on. Um, you got clips here that hold it to the K-member itself. And then you got clips up in the fender as well, like up there that hold it in and over there. And right here. And there's also, I believe right here, there was a 10 millimeter bolt on each side. So while it's draining, you can remove that to optimize your time. So let's go ahead and start draining the oil. So once you've got that pan removed, you can come under here and remove the dust shield for the flywheel and flex plate and whatnot. Oh, one here, one here, and one there it looks so far. So remove those and um, that'll grant you access to the bolts that are stuck behind here between the transmission and the engine. Um, and then we can start to work with our uh, K member to try to get our oil pan loose. To get us uh, more wiggle room with the K member without having to take it out, um, we're gonna have to remove the engine mount bolt, which is right in the center. One of the engine mount slash transmission mount bolts. Um, remove it here and that should give us some more wiggle room when we eventually remove this bolt and we uh, loosen all the other bolts to uh, give us some room so we can get to the oil pan. Now that we've created some separation here between the K-member and the oil pan, I'm gonna start breaking loose all of our oil pan bolts and removing the oil pan. All right, so I've got all the bolts removed. Um, it's held on there by RTV, so up in there, go around with it and pry it off. Um, and according to how this side comes off, we're gonna have to shift our cross member, pull it down a little bit, pry it down and whatnot to uh, get this thing free. As you can see here, just through the hole in the oil pan, <clears throat> I chose this spot because of the fittings that we have. We have a 45 degree, so um, I think everything will work out better uh, to go like straight to the turbo from this 45 degree over here. And it's like a little flat spot, so that's nice. Um, just used a uh, step drill bit. I opted for not a weld-in one um, because I believe this is aluminum. I opted for a bolt-on bung here, slides right through there. And it has two washers that have rubber on it, so you tighten the jam nut down on the, on the back end of it, on the inside, and uh, 
you will have a 10 and bung. So there we go. Now let's clean all this up, install our uh, new bung, get some RTV on this and put it back on the car. Um, and once we got the bung on here, then we can start routing uh, oil lines and stuff for the turbo. So I got everything all cleaned up here. As you can see, bung is on. There's the nut on the inside. Goes right through. So there's our uh, drain bung for the, uh, the turbo. Um, I tightened this down as hard as I could pretty much. But uh, now it's time to use some brake clean, clean up all the surfaces, make sure there's no oil on them. Um, put the gasket remover or put the gasket maker on it after you have cleaned up all the surfaces. See how it's all shiny. Um, that is the most crucial part in this. Um, if you fail to do the prep, the, uh, the seal won't be good. Trust me. I know. Um, so 90% of this is prep work. Don't skip on the prep. Uh, make sure everything's nice and bare and then you can, uh, RTV it up. So yeah, let's RTV it up now. So now that we get the pan back on, the manual says to, or not the manual, the uh, instructions on the gasket maker says to let it sit for an hour uh, to dry and then um, torque it down to uh, factory spec. Um, but what you want to do, you don't want to torque it down immediately. Um, you're going to want to just like do it until it starts like squeezing out a little bit and stop um, and then uh, wait an hour and then come back torque it down. So we shall wait an hour, come back and torque it down. All right, so for our oil feed line, we're gonna wanna get a T kind of like this, um, or it's gonna be like this, I should say. Um, and then we're gonna tap into the oil uh, pressure sender unit. Get a flash. See back here. Oil pressure sending unit. I just moved the desk cover off. It's the shining thing down there. Uh, we'll remove that and then this will thread into the block and then the oil pressure sender unit will go here, block this off, and then we have a we'll have a line to go to the turbo. So yeah, let's do it now. In the zone. In the zone. Go. There's our oil pressure sender unit removed from the block, and now we can throw in our little T piece. In. So, wait. As you can see back there, we got our little T fitting done with the center unit, a plug going into the block, and then our A line line coming back out. underneath the car. If you have the exhaust manifold removed, which you're do since you're able to get in here because you can come underneath there's a little hole right here and you can just thread everything through there so now that all that tightened down we can throw on the turbo again and hook up all our our lines to the turbo all right so uh, as you can see here the uh, kit that I got didn't quite work with the uh, return flange here um, I don't think any of them do, but sorry for my shaking hands, but um, I had to use my carbide burrs and drill that out. I um, also had to cut the gasket a little bit um, so I could fit this on here. But now it fits on nicely. We can throw the bolts on for our drain. And then on the other end of the turbo, we have this fitting. 
Now this fitting um, doesn't come in any kit that I've seen. It is like a two millimeter restrictor fitting that I had to especially order this off Amazon uh, for this turbo. Uh, so no kits really have it, which is quite unfortunate. Um, but go on eBay or no, go on uh, Amazon, search GT3582 uh, turbo two millimeter restrictor. And that'll get you this because the threads on here are very, very odd. Um, they're like a brake line thread, which is, but it's only some brake lines. I don't know. Um, anyway, that is on there. So that's a, whatever this is to 4 a.n. Because uh, that's what our feed line is. So we'll tighten this down. Now we go ahead and throw this bad boy on the end of our now newly wrapped uh, headers or turbo manifold and then we can hook up all of our lines to the turbo. Cranking the engine um, to get oil pressure didn't work because our battery here is um, not the best. It's it's pretty much dead. Um, so it wasn't able to get enough uh, RPM to actually pump, en or pump oil all the way to the top of the engine. So pumping that with just by cranking it to get oil coming out of that tube just to be sure we had oil pressure wasn't gonna work. So, um, put everything on, the fuel lines and whatnot, started it, and then see here, we got oil coming out of there. So, oil pressure's good. Um, right now, I'm working on priming the turbo. Um, as you can see down in there, some oil in there. What Basically what I'm doing is taking this little straw here and sucking up some oil from the lid of this of the oil that I'm using, and then kind of just placing it in that uh, small diameter hole in the middle and then spinning the turbo as I uh, as it as it falls in um, and then once it gets in then I kind of blow a little bit through there so I'll do this a couple of times um, just to cycle some oil through the turbo before we uh, put the uh, fitting back on which is up here and uh, the the feed uh, the feed tube so and then once we do that it'll be good for startup so now we got all our oil lines routed got our feed line to the top and then our drain line down there if you can see connected to the bottom uh, draining into the oil pan got our uh, oil pan tapped and everything uh, so yeah that'll do it for this video if you found this video informative, please be sure you like on the video, subscribe to the channel for more. And remember, no matter your experience or your skill level, keep on improving.